Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a very good tip for you on how to fix your Nespresso machine that is not pumping water. If you've put it away in storage, or heck, even if you got the brand new unit from the store, sometimes the pump gets an air bubble in it and it won't be able to pump water. That's why a lot of these machines are returned, evidently. I buy and sell pallets of stuff at a time. And so pulling these machines out and testing them this one would had that problem. Um, would not pump water whatsoever. So I went to YouTube like I always do. This is the Nespresso Cities. I don't even know how you say it, but that one there. So I look on YouTube and there's a couple of different videos. And one of the ways to do it is to have this thing run. You pop this on and off like a hundred times. <laughs> I tried that. Absolutely nothing. So I'm like, dang it, what else could I do? So I looked up further on YouTube. And the next big thing that people have been doing is taking basically a Ziploc. I have this style Ziploc, the actual zips. And for whatever reason, this thing will not hold air pressure. So every time I go in to push it in there, the seal breaks. So I couldn't use that. So I tried these little airbags. And they were all fitting and working and creating pressure, but this thing still didn't work. So I tried all that. I've been probably messing with this for a good half an hour. So I was looking over the whole system and how it works. And obviously, this just feeds the machine the water. And then there's this little tab here. When it gets pushed in, water comes out, obviously. So what I did, and this worked the very first time that I tried it. So I tried setting it on in slowly. And while it's running, I was looking and seeing just how much this little nozzle here was lifting up. So while it was running, I gently set it in there to where it barely lifted up and a whole bunch of air bubbles shot up. And then it fed through it and now it's working perfectly. fill this back up and show you again real quick. Alright, so once again, I was just looking at how high this little orange thing lifted up to allow water to fall down into the unit and get sucked up. So I set it on there very slowly. Wait until it barely went and then set it there. And as I ran it, I don't know if it's getting air from underneath it or what, but it instantly started pumping just like this. And it fixed my unit. None of the other stuff worked. Don't know why. Is that over? So I was pretty excited about that. So I've not seen that technique anywhere on the internet. Not exactly sure why it worked, but it did, and it worked instantly. So that's pretty cool. I do, like I said, I buy and sell pallets of stuff at a time. So I actually have like 15 to 20 Nespresso's I have to go through. As you can see, I'm going through some of them now. Luckily, these two worked right out of the box. They're pretty much brand new. This one's brand new too, but it was returned because the guy cannot get uh, water pressure. So hopefully, if I have another one that doesn't work, I'm gonna show you on video exactly how to fix it, and hopefully, cross my fingers, it'll work perfectly the second time, because it worked instantly, I was shocked. So hopefully that's a new technique people can use. And uh, you know, if this did help work for you, do me a favor and smash that like button, and perhaps subscribe. See ya. All right, I think I found another Nespresso that is not pumping water. So hopefully my little test or trick will work again. So let me show you that it's not working right. Nothing.
right, so it doesn't work whatsoever. That's why it was returned. It even said on the package, does not pump. So last time, this is what I did. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work the same this time. I look closely at the water reservoir. I see that orange piece of rubber that holds the water in. So this is what I did last time. You take it off and you start it. And you just barely set this on until you see air bubbles. That time may not have worked, but let's see. No, let's try again. See how good that works? See how good? Works perfectly every time. There we go. Don't know why exactly that works. Does. It's all in how you set it on there. You have to set it on there like really gently. And then it like forces water down somehow. I'm not even totally sure, but that's the only way I could get any of these to work. The bag tricks did not work for me. Um let me show you I'm brewing one. As you can see. This is all the coffee makers I got back. There's four Nespresso's there. Every single one worked perfectly fine. And I got eight. There's two more behind me. Eight of these Keurigs. All say they don't work. And I plugged them in. Tested them. Every single one worked fine. Perfectly. Every, every first time. Ran them both twice. And they all work. So let me prove once again. First, let me throw in a little bit more water. I do have one more of these, I think. And if that has the same issue, I'll record that as well. All right, so I'm gonna drop in a pad. Okay, and let's see. Should be good to go now. Go. So this person returned this because the pump was broken, although it's not, it's just a matter of unclogging that air tube or whatever you want to call it. I'm not even sure exactly what the issue is, but this is the second one that I fixed just by doing that little trick. Something to do with barely putting that orange seal on, and I guess maybe it sucks up air and water, I'm not really sure, but it works. And there's the proof, so. It's the easiest method I found. I've tried all the other ones and none of them worked. I'm sure they can work for some of you, but this one's just simple. You don't have to worry about a Ziploc or anything like that, so. Do me a favor, and if this worked for you, please like and subscribe. And uh, you all have an awesome day. See ya.